when you first open Autodesk Inventor, your screen should look something like this. The first thing you need to do is create a new part. So I would do that if you go to the top left hand corner of the screen uh, and you see the little picture of a bit of paper with the corner folded over and just click that and this should come up. Now some of yours may not be expanded like mine is, uh, but on the left hand side it's really important you click metric uh, and that will open up uh, all of these uh, options here. It's really important that when we're working in Autodesk Inventor we're using millimetres and not inches. Uh, it will create a lot of problems later on down the line if we're working in inches and we're trying to marry up parts that are made in inches and parts that are made in millimetres. So uh, the first thing we need to do is create a standard part in millimetres. So I'm just going to click that and go to the bottom there and just press create uh, and it will just load up, wait a few seconds uh, and your screen should look something like this. <coughs> Moving on from here, uh, what we need to do now is we need to start a 2D sketch. Uh, so top left hand side, we're going to start a 2D sketch and just drag it down and again start 2D sketch uh, and your work planes will appear. So I'm going to click on any work plane you want. You click on whichever one you want. Uh, I tend to work in the XZ plane uh, and here, a bit like 2D design, we've just got a two dimensional workspace where we can draw out what we need. So we're going to be drawing the disc first and I need to draw a rectangle and I'm going to start on the very, very middle. This is quite important because when we come to put the hole in later, we want it centralized. Now, the disc itself is 80 millimeters in diameter, so we need to do this 40 millimeters in radius. Uh, you'll see why fairly soon. So I'm going to left click in the middle and hold it out. I'm just going to drag a box and you'll see the dimensions appearing. Uh, what I want my dimensions to be is uh, one millimeter thick by 40 millimeters across. So the box where it says 4.715, I'm gonna change that to one. And if I hit the clap tab key, it will then move between the two different dimensions. And I'm gonna change that to 40. And I'm gonna hit return. And that's drawn that there. Now my work area that I've zoomed in on is too small. So I'm going to click escape to get out of there. So I want to expand on what I've seen. So on the right hand side, you've got your zoom tools, uh, you've got your pan tool, and you've got your orbit tool. I don't want to use my orbit tool here. Uh, I don't even want to use my pan tool. I suppose I could use my pan tool, so I'm just going to use the pan tool there just to bring it into the middle of the screen. Now, if you look at the pizza cutter, uh, it has a bevel all the way around the edge to obviously cut through the pizza. So what I want to do now is I want to create that bevel uh, so I'm going to click the line tool and I'm just going to select the line. Now there's probably more than one way of doing this, this way I would do it. Uh, where that pointer has gone green, I know that's going to attach itself to that end point. So I'm going to left click and I'm going to bring a line up at 0 degrees there. And I'm going to click OK. I'm not, not worried about the length of the line, I just need a line. Now if I click the offset tool now, and I want to offset a line, so I'm going to select that line and just drag a line away from it and type in 4, return. So that gives me, uh, and all I'm using is these lines here, is I'm using that so that I've got a point to work from. So if I click the line tool now, I'm going to draw a line from the end point of that line to the corner there. And right click and OK. I need to tidy the drawing up now. Uh, and some of the dimensions here may over constrain the drawing. So when I try and trim things away, things will disappear. So I'm just gonna get rid of some lines. If I left click on the line, it will go white and I can just press delete and it will get rid of it. So I'm gonna left click, press delete and get rid of it. Now, I do need to tidy this up here. What I'm gonna try and do is trim it. But if I hit the trim tool there now, that's actually worked okay. I was expecting it to be over constrained and I'm gonna trim that there. Now that has a split dimension, so I'm gonna cancel that there. Now if I now click on, I can't get rid of it, it's a cancel. All I'm going to do to start with, I'm going to finish sketch, and I'm gonna go back into the sketch. If I right click and edit sketch, sometimes you just have to come out the sketch and go back into it. I want to just go back and edit that sketch again. We're back to normal. If I click on the dimensions now, I can get rid of the dimension, because the dimensions are over constraining the drawing, and I want to get rid of that bit. So if I click there, and that should be good. So if I click finish sketch now, what I have is the outside profile of my pizza cutter or the disc. So the next thing I need to do is turn that into a solid. So we've just done a 2D sketch 
and I need to turn that into a 3D solid. Now normally, uh, more often than not, you'd use the extrude tool uh, and you'd turn that into solid, but here uh, we're going to uh, do something a little bit more exciting. We're going to use the revolve tool, so I'm going to click revolve and it's already highlighted an area within that space that it knows it could create a solid from. So the only thing I need to do now is select an axis in which to revolve it round. Uh, so the several axes is quite an exciting tool, uh, but what I'm going to do is just select this axis here, and if you look at that, it's going to spin that entire profile around that axis, uh, and just click my tick, uh, move it away from it. Now if I use my zoom tool and I'm going to use my orbit tool and that has created my pizza uh, cutting disc. Now the only thing I need to do now is I need to put the uh, small hole into the centre of it. So to do that what I need to do is draw on this face here. So I'm going to start a 2D sketch, uh, another sketch uh, on that face. I'm going to select that face and as I started my uh, drawing from the center, all I need to do is draw a circle. And my, if you look, my, my cursor bit has gone green, so it's attached itself to the very center of that object. And I'm gonna drag a circle out, and I want the, uh, the diameter of that circle to be two millimeters. So I'm just going to change that to two and okay. And I'm going to finish sketch. And if I zoom in a little bit, I've got this circle here, and I now want to, actually in fact, I want to remove material rather than create more solid. So I'm going to press extrude, and it's found uh, that circle there. Now, this arrow here can determine which way I extrude. Now, if I go outwards, I create solid, and if I go the other way, I can remove material. I know that my pizza cutting disc is one millimeter thick, so I'm going to change that to one and click return and I'm going to zoom out and that is the disk complete so all that leaves me to do is go file save as and I'm going to put a I've put a pizza cutter uh, folder on my desktop so you need to create a folder uh, somewhere in your documents I would call it pizza cutter and go in there and I would save that as an Autodesk file, uh, as a the, the disk, or it's disk uh, there, because it's circular, and a disk with a K would be for storing uh, like a disk drive. No, it wouldn't be. Yep, there we are. And uh, click Save. And that has saved that component for me. So uh, on a further speech thingy, I will create uh, the next file. Thank you very much.